Hello everyone, it's your girl Tasha and I'm back to you guys with another video. So as you guys can see by the title today, we're going to be doing a reset video. I haven't done one of these on my channel in so long, but I'm not new to this, I'm true to this girl. So we're going to go ahead and get this house together. But if this is your very first time here on my channel, I like to do all things lifestyle, mommy content, self-care routines, hygiene routines, shower routines, the whole nine yards. So if you would like, take this moment to subscribe. On my channel, my target audience are single mothers and any woman for that matter, because I'm a girl's girl. And if this sounds like content that you like, a movement that you would like, if you wanna just connect with me on my journey through single mothering, going to college, working and trying to survive at the same time, go ahead and join the family girl. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into this week's reset. Hey y'all, so we are starting out our Sunday reset by putting away our laundry pods. I got these from Sam's Club and these are pretty much the generic brand of the Tide. Listen, if I say they Tide, they Tide. If I say it's Dev, it's Dev. Y'all already know the vibes over here. So we're just going ahead and we're filling up that. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on into getting some laundry together because y'all, I had so much laundry today and I just didn't even know, like how did I let all this laundry build up? Like I really do not know. But I'm going ahead and I'm separating it and I'm getting everything together. Let's just go ahead and enjoy the vibes. all right y'all so we have put the clothes in the washing machine um one is already done one is in the dryer if y'all can hear it and my other load is in the washer so we're doing good we have two loads still on the floor that i'm gonna take care of but in the meantime y'all we're gonna go ahead and go to trader joe's and target but we're gonna go to target first then we'll go to trader joe's and yes so that's what we're about to do i'm about to go ahead and get myself together i gotta grab my headphones apple watch everything because i'm also going to go to the gym but that's not going to be in this video because that's not why y'all here y'all here to reset with me so yes there's a few things that i want to get from target i want to see if i can find the cedar mop i feel like i'm just over the swiffer wet jet because i just feel like technically is it cleaning your floors if you're just if it sprays out and it's just wiping your floor it's like a wipe for your floor it's like a baby wipe it's giving baby wipe wipe the floor but it's like spreading the dirt around if you can pick up what i'm putting down anywho yes so that's what we're about to do y'all and yeah let's just go ahead and i will see y'all when we get to target All right, y'all, so we are at Target, and I found the mop, and I'm about to go ahead and get it. Um, I don't want the one that's like the stringy one. Yeah, I want this one, easy rain step I, I really hope this comes with it. I'm about to read the box. So what comes in this? Hands-free ringing. So it comes with hands-free ringing. Includes mop with extendable handle and a head so i hope everything's in here this this box this box pretty light i don't know if this is the right one it's giving very much light i don't know if this is the right one this box looks kind of light let me pick up the other ones do you use the cedar mop i'm sorry do you use one of these no i was gonna ask you no question. i just used the adult one. Oh, okay <laughs> sorry it's okay so let's go ahead and get some scrub daddies i really like the i really like the 
and these ones. So we're gonna get a few of those. I think I'm gonna just get two. I wish they had like a multiple pack. They have Dish Daddy, but I like this one because it's much bigger. Target has their own. No, nah, we ain't doing it. Love up and up, but no boo. We're going to get the scrub lines. We're going to get this pink one. And we'll get the yellow one. Which is cool. Yeah. So let's get those on the list. Let's see. Let's get the scrub daddies. Cedar malt. Okay. Let's go. Alright, y'all. So I just left the gym or whatever. I don't know it's allowed, so I just want to tell y'all we about to go to Trader Joe's. Depending on if it's loud. Depending on if it's a lot of people in there, I'll try to record, but who knows? Had a good workout and I am like, okay, this is getting real. Depression is getting worse. Oof. Right, let's go. Hey, so it's later on. I done picked him up. He's in the car now. We're gonna continue on with this reset. We went to Aldi off camera. There's too many people in there. I didn't bring y'all. And now we are in the drive-thru of Taco Bell to get a little snack because I've been eating anything since this morning when I had some avocado toast. So I just want to update you all. And when we get home, we will go over everything that we got from the store and continue on with our reset. So we're home and I'm about to go ahead and show y'all what we got from um, Target and Whole Foods real quick so I can go ahead and put it away and we can finish off the Sunday reset. It's so gloomy outside and it's giving, it's dark, but it's not. So anyways, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so let's start with what we got from Target. And first things first, you guys saw me in the aisle getting these. So I got two scrub mommies. Oh, one is a scrub daddy, one is a scrub. How bad they go together real bad? Anyway, so we got two things. I'm gonna use this to wash my dishes. I don't know why they were so hard. Next up, we have some carpet freshener so that I can season my carpet while I'm cleaning and then I can vacuum it up when I'm done. And we also got, actually these other things aren't really a part of the reset, but I'll show y'all anyway. I got me a concealer pencil because I do want to try to see if I can like have the option to sculpt my brows when I do my makeup or not, but we'll see. And then I got my son some Nutella because we ran out. And then I also got these, they had like four for, so this is how it's supposed to be. Very good. He put together the cedar mop, guys. Um, my baby, he did it. So anyway, we got, I also got some new underwear. They were having like four for 18. So I just got some cute, cute. So she's a little see-through, but she's cute. I also got these purple ones. I got these yellow and pink ones. And I have these blue ones. So. And the yes, they're cotton in the seat. Okay, that's all that matters. Next thing we got from Target is this. I got this thing to go on the counter for my syrup, which you guys will see is fill up. We're gonna fill up the syrup. Well, probably not even fill it. It's probably not gonna be enough to fill it, but we're gonna put this in here so we can like pump instead of pour. We're gonna pump instead of pour. So got this. And then this right here, I honestly feel like I was just being so extra about. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I got it because it's just like, why not? I might use this for my, what do you call it? I might use this for the fabric softener. That might like, you know, I might give maybe in, because I have my pods in one thing. I could like fill this up in here and then that's just so extra, right? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for yet, y'all. But we will see, we will see, we will see. I haven't found a need, but it was $5. And you usually have to get these from like home goods, stuff like that, and it's more expensive. So I don't know if I'm gonna use this, make some juice and put it in here, or if I'm gonna put exactly what I said, who knows. Anyways, moving on. Trader Joe's, we have the ready-made meals. Y'all know I love these, okay? They're so convenient for me when I go to work. So I got two of those. And just for reference, in case you're wondering, these are 390 calories, okay? This is a little lunch. 
And then I also got some more of this vegetable biryani. This was so good. I loved it. And this is like a lot of servings. So when I took this to work the other day, I literally took like, I think like half of it and I left the rest of it for my coworkers. And they liked it. So probably do that again if I take it to work. Also got some more mixed berries for my protein smoothies. I got some Elijah. Hey, Elijah, you're being loud. Matcha powder, so I can make some matcha, matcha lattes. I got some cold pressed juices. And then there's cold pressed, another cold pressed juice. I got the red one, another vegetable biryani. I don't even realize I got two of these. Some salmon to go on our avocado toast. Got another bag of mixed berries for smoothies. Last but not least, we got for trying these sparkling waters. So what is all we got y'all? I'm not gonna lie to you. We're about to relax for a second. But for you guys, we're going to be back in like one second. So. Hey y'all, so we are going to move on now to cleaning up our dishes and doing the rest of our chores. But y'all, let's talk about giving ourselves grace, right? Y'all know on my channel, I'm all about self-care, hygiene routines, everything. Y'all know, y'all know the vibes by now. But on my channel, I want to emphasize the need for self-care and the need to give yourself grace and the need for positive self-talk right all i want to stress to everyone who comes across this video and any of my other videos on my channel is that you are doing your best i know that it's hard sometimes i know that we gotta feel like we oh my gosh i gotta do everything but then you gotta extend yourself some grace girl it's okay to ask for help it's okay to prioritize yourself and prioritize your self-care i'm telling you if you do not, it's going to be the death of you. I don't want to speak negativity over your life, but I'm telling you right now, take some time for yourself. That's the best advice I can give anyone. That's the best advice I can take myself. You have to celebrate your strength and you also have to release guilt. We're not, we're not carrying guilt. If you only got 10 things done out of 20, baby, you're still a winner. If you were a mother and you only was able to clean up the kitchen and the bathroom, but not the living room and the dining room, you're still a winner. We are releasing guilt period okay you just need to smile through it all or try to watch a podcast watch something funny but you can do it i'm telling you but anyway y'all let's go ahead and get into the cedar mop i love this mop y'all i didn't think i was gonna enjoy this mop this much like i really did not i know i'm sleeping on the floor right now but y'all i did not think that i was gonna enjoy the cedar mop it's gonna come up in the next clip don't worry but I didn't think I was going to enjoy it that much. And if you guys can see in the next few clips, me and my son, we were having a ball with it. It was giving very much, this is our new toy. Period, period. So just enjoy the vibes and let's get it done. Don't make me wait too long. you know, you know, did you know. Hey, the clock ticking, the plot thickens, I'm not tripping. I got, you got, we not different. Feel me, I got but not really wonder where the time goes when you're not with me get yeah, your top 10 we should lock in hop in baby let me show you that i'm not playing probably used to weird time not then watch this press one button that's your top list take one flight hit the tropics take flight, take my hey y'all good morning it's the next day so we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into our weekend reset i'm about to start on the living room and while I clean, I'm going to go ahead and catch up on a vlog. I just started watching this new creator. I like her. And if you like watching other single mom vlogs, definitely check her out. I'm going to put her name on the screen and let you guys see it. Just in case you're interested, I'm trying to look my line, but her strong. Be careful. I was a... All right.
Are y'all back where we started? I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dryer. That's my last load of clothes drying. The time is two o'clock Sunday. And I'm about to watch my girl Maya Galore. I love her. I'm about to watch her and fold up this mountain for the laundry. I'm not gonna bore y'all with folding it, but you guys will see that the laundry will be done in five, four, three, two, one. So now that the laundry is finished, the mountain high laundry pile is all gone. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the clothes away. And next time you see me, we are going to go ahead and do some organization, some preparing more for the week. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap this whole little Sunday reset up. So hold on one second, girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Think of the year I said I was going to start writing everything down in my iPad because I'm an iPad girl, but I felt like for some reason I just was either lacking motivation, I wasn't being disciplined, but this week, me writing down all of what I, everything that I need to do and having it readily available in my notes, I found that to be much easier than using the app GoodNotes. So, because for one, I can pull up the notes, everything will sync between my phone and my iPad. So I found that to be much easier. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start, open up a new notes on my iPad and we're gonna get to planning our meals for the week. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay y'all, so let's go ahead and plan our, our meals and our homework for the week because I also did that at this very moment. So I planned on my meals just so I can take all of the thinking out of it. And this is something I heavily advise that you guys do. I know before in a vlog or two before this, I said, oh, I'm going to start outsourcing. I'm going to start ordering meals from Factor. But really, all I need to do is plan accordingly. If you fail to prepare, you plan to fail. I know y'all heard that before. So I'm just going ahead and I'm planning out my meals for the week. I'm planning out my homework, designating what I'm going to do on what day I'll designate one day for reading and discussion another day for reading and a discussion for another class and then i'm just planning out everything else if i have appointments if i have a bill due just any little thing you can think of that you need to write down that you need to remember if you are a busy person this is your way to do it whether you have kids or don't have kids this right here is a gym for everyone Give yourself grace again, like I told you guys in my last Sunday reset that I did in a short, but be sure, give yourself grace, girl. It's okay. Because me, listen, I ain't perfect. I told y'all, I'm speaking from an imperfect place. But let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm going to let y'all enjoy the vibes until we get to the next part. Say it. Just as I recall that your ass is still amazing Say it baby, love it, shit, you know I'm perfect So go ahead, drink up I'm so glad we got to link up Hey y'all, so it's later I made chili and some cornbread I made dinner already so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all right quick so this is the chili it's so good and we have our cornbread in the oven there oh, it's back there so there's y'all so we're gonna go ahead and fill up the last thing for our reset pretty much or at least preparation because the video is not going to end here but so i got this thing from amazon and i really really like it because you could just literally pull it out if y'all watch my vlogs then you know that i use this all the time and it just has different days on it so i'm gonna go ahead and fill these up with my vitamins and my meds and it's so easy you could just literally take it out in the morning and drop it in your purse so that's why i really like these and I don't know why, I think I took the showcase product off, so y'all not going to be able to see it. There it is. So it'll say Saturday, and it has all the days of the week, and I just literally take them and put them in my purse. So I'm about to go ahead and fill them up right quick, and then I'm going to show y'all our dinner.
Oh, look at it, period. Call me Baker T. Call me Baker T. Call me Baker T. Call me, call me Baker T. Yeah, I'll be trying to make one of those like aesthetic Sunday resets, but like it wouldn't be me if I didn't throw a little bit of my personality in here. Okay, period. So it's done. I'm about to go ahead and put some butter over it. Let's put some butter over it. Got mommy. Mommy, show me what you got. Mm. Come on. Show me what you got. All right, so that is dinner. Cornbread done, and it's so, y'all, it's soft. It's so soft. Chili is done. Let's plate it up. I'm about to go ahead and eat. Hey y'all, so it's later. We are finally reaching the end of our Sunday weekend reset. And when I tell you I am tired, I'm sorry, y'all live in an apartment if y'all can't tell. People walking upstairs, so sorry. But I wanted to end the night just settling down and just going over everything that we did. You guys are wondering what this is i'm putting on my lips this is my elf lip balm it's in the scent vanilla smells so good if you guys didn't catch my most recent video of all of my hygiene and beauty faves for the month it was in that video but um anywho let's go ahead and just do some little self-care right now i have y'all sitting next to my skincare fridge if y'all can hear that i'm sorry but that's just yeah so right now I'm sitting down at my vanity and I just got off the shower. I'm gonna go ahead and putting on my The Ordinary, which I've been talking to you guys about as well. The Ordinary Serum, I love this serum. What's in this? And this is sad I didn't really watch, I didn't really read it. Like, I didn't remember what I read. Soothing Barrier, oh yeah, you know what we did talk about this. It says Soothing Barrier Support Serum with lipids, vitamins, and photo technologies for epidermal repair. One thing about it, the skin, I just wanna, I don't know, do I have the face thing on today? I don't know if y'all can see it. It's a little dry right now. Let's go ahead and rub this in. I love this serum, y'all. Okay, and next we're gonna go in with our collagen hydro gel. These are some under eye patches. And why I put these on, I wanted to talk about some of the things that I like to do for self care. If you guys watch my channel, you're not new here, then y'all know. Self care, self care, self care doing things that I like, unapologetic mm -mm. unapologetically, and yeah, so I feel like it's really the small things that help you live a, I want to say luxury life, this is how the patch looks, but it's like the small things, you know, I feel like I don't make the most money. I don't live in the biggest apartment. I don't live in the most modern, updated apartment. It's really about your ability to be grateful for what you have. And if there are little small things that can make your life feel better, do it. So I'm always trying to do that. Um, I find myself sometimes wanting more and then I forget to take in the small moments when I can do small things. Because there was a point in time where like, getting perfume, getting lotion, having to choose between what to buy was a thing for me. Like, there was no like, today I think I just wanna go to Target. Today I think I just wanna go get a massage. Today I want to go out for lunch. Like there was, 
a time where like that wasn't my reality or if I did have the means to do that, I was spending my money in areas on things that like are not healthy for me. For instance, like alcohol, like that was a thing for me. I feel like it was a bad vice for me for a while where like I would end my nights, I'm gonna have some wine just because, I'm gonna have a drink just because. And it's like, while I still might do that now, at most once a week, sometimes once every two weeks, you know, it really just all depends. Whereas now I feel like I put my money in other areas and don't get me wrong, I'm not like perfect or anything. I still have like some, probably like not the healthiest habits. We ain't gonna talk about that. But I feel like it's definitely one of those things where you just try to, I just try to find like a reason to be grateful. I feel like I have so much to be grateful for, especially when I look at like some things in my life, in my past and everything. And it's so funny because I don't really think about it until it comes up in conversation. When I think about the person that I used to be and the person that I am now, and like that's something to be grateful for. That's a way of living in luxury all in itself. Like, bottom line I feel like I'm rambling but I just feel like try to find luxury or happiness in the small things and I feel like I do find happiness in the small things but at the same time I feel like I often am like chasing the next thing and you know that's just what I do and I think as people we tend to be chasing the next thing like we get one accomplishment we're on to the next thing we do one thing and we kind of like minimize the things that we're gaining or getting or what we're working for like years ago there was no like oh go buy a 700 hundred dollar camera and not to brag or anything but it's just like when i first started youtube i have a whole nother channel videos trash but i still did it because i like to do it and i'm still doing it now because i like to do it i'm not I'm not getting paid like yes I get free stuff sometimes yes I get PR but even with that I find myself all the time like idolizing or like looking far ahead or wanting what other people have when it comes to this content creator thing because I feel like I've spent so much time so much money investing in equipment when girl I ain't making no money off this for real I ain't making no money no money on but it's something I'm passionate about and that I love. And sometimes everything doesn't have to be about money. And one thing that I have come to terms with and made peace with is the fact that if I never make money from this ever, which God willing, you know, maybe one day, you know, I will. But if not, I feel like this is one of those things I've made peace with the fact that if it never happens, if I never make money this is something i still feel like that i would do because obviously the last year or so whether i go missing for a month or two months i still come right back to this this is just something that makes me feel happy and i realized that finding enjoyment and happiness in the small things go a long way they go a long way just me being able to make content makes me happy when i feel like i'm too distracted or when i feel like i have so much going on and i'm not making content it makes me sad so i just want Anybody who watches my videos, if you are a parent, find that one thing that you like. Find that one little thing that you like because at one point, I didn't have that. You know what I mean? Like, there's nobody around me doing videos and making content and doing TikToks and reels and stuff, but I found a fascination with doing this and it's just something that I feel like I'm so blessed to have found because I feel like God doesn't really put things in your heart if it's not something you're supposed to pursue. You know what I mean? Like he could have had me super passionate about anything, but it was this. And just having a passion is luxury. So like, I just want everyone to like kind of shift their minds what luxury is. I mean, I feel like there's luxury in anything. There's luxury in this Vaseline, $6.99, there's luxury in it. You know what I mean? You're not wearing dollar store lotion, and it's okay if you are, but you're not wearing dollar store lotion. This is luxury. Wipe yourself down in this after the shower and feel good. Read a book, feel good. Put some lemon in your water, 
luxury. Those are the things that are luxury for me. And then also, if you are a single mother and you have your child all the time and you don't feel like, you know, there's like a strong village as far as like being able to like drop your kid off or like you prioritize and like the things that maybe you want to do and you might see other people around you being able to, you know, have those luxuries. Try to create luxuries for yourself that either A, can be done while your children are in school or childcare or perhaps every once in a while, maybe like once a month, you know, if you can, pay a babysitter or maybe ask a friend, you know, swap babysitting services with your other friends or anyone for that matter, just someone that you trust so that you can have a moment to you know, de-stress. Now, I will say that for me, my son going somewhere else other than with me is very random. You know, it's not a consistent thing. So I have to change the way I prioritize my self-care. So I am a person who works from home twice a week. So the good thing for me is like after work, I can prioritize self-care by going to the gym. I can prioritize self-care by taking a nap, taking an everything shower, doing a face mask, writing in my journal. This is one of the um, journals that I got. Let me show it to y'all. This shadow work journal. Or, you know, I have so many journals, y'all. Let me tell you something. Because I'm not new to working on myself. I have journals of just like from months, years, you know what I mean? Like, find something. This self-care is also luxury, okay? It's hard and it's intentional, but it's luxury. I got this self-love workbook. I got more books on the floor that I'm not even gonna show y'all because I feel like I interchange them depending on what stage I am in my life. So, that was my little spill on self-care and you know reworking the way we prioritize luxury and just trying to find a common ground in how we just do life you know what i mean like i feel like a lot of us chase perfection and that's something that i do too i'm not talking from a perfect place i'm talking from an imperfect place we all are chasing imperfection i mean we all are chasing perfection but we are imperfect people. And one of the things that I've tried to learn, and I'm constantly trying to learn, is it's okay to have high expectations for yourself, but it's also okay to be realistic, and it's also okay to just meet yourself where you are. I feel like we get so down on ourselves because we're expecting a lot, and it's okay to be ambitious, but when you're so ambitious or you're so hooked up on the next thing and wanting, wanting, wanting that you can't enjoy the now, you can't enjoy what you have done. Something my therapist told me probably like a few weeks ago when, you know, I think in the beginning of like one of our first few sessions, we talked about my need to get everything done. And she asked me, What is it, what does it say about you if you don't get everything done? And this can be like, this can correlate to the point I'm making about luxury and self-care and certain things like that and just having grace with yourself. It says, it's, it, it really doesn't matter. If you had 10 things on your to-do list and you could only do seven, instead of looking at your glass half empty, look at it half full. You got half things done today. But instead, my mind and a lot of other people I'm sure can relate to this, we will think about all the things we didn't do rather than saying, well, at least I got half of my to-do list done. Think about that with luxury. Oh, but I can't afford this. I can't afford a nice spa day. But I can afford going to Five Below, getting me a face mask. Let me, hold on, let me show y'all something else. Let me show y'all something else. I don't see esthetician. Last time I went to the spa for a facial, was on my birthday last August. I invest in skincare products so that I can keep my skin good. I invest in at-home skincare so that I can feel good. Because me doing this little skin stuff doesn't just help my skin. It is a symbol for doing something for me. 
out of all the things y'all saw me doing this video, yes, the house being clean is for me, but ultimately my home is clean so it could be a home. So it can be, so that we can operate in here and so that I can show up for the little boy in their sleep. So this is just a symbol of me doing this for me. But as I was saying, these five below, five below. Do the mask help your face? Yes. But this symbolizes luxury. Y'all gotta, we all gotta rework the way we think about luxury. A luxury is coming home watching TV after a long day at work. That's a luxury. Some people don't have TV, some people don't have internet. I don't, I'm not telling y'all to think small, but what I am saying is that, and I have to remind myself this too. So this is gonna be a good video for me to go back and watch when I'm having my funk days, when I'm having days where I don't feel like this, like these thoughts don't cross my mind. So just, it's the small things, luxury, small things. And I know this is at the end of the video. I really hope that you guys watch all the way to the end because this right here, it got deep, it got deep, it got deep. But I feel like I just felt that to say it. And these little under eye patches are cute, aren't they? Self-care, okay, look at us, self-care. <laughs> Anyways guys, so that is the end of this video, the end of this weekend reset, the end of us getting ourselves together, the end of my TED talk. And if you like videos like this and you wanna see more, please join the family and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Mm-hmm.